Okay, everybody. This is my review of the Blue Pure XL. This is in being shot in 1080 because for some reason I can't upload a 4K video to YouTube. It says MP4 file. It shoots in MP4 file format. Very strange. It seems how my 4K TV will stream 4K from YouTube. Anyways, okay. I'm going to try to speak fast about this phone. Um, if you want it for games and controllers, the control, um, the MOGA controller that I have will not work with any lollipop phone. I don't know why, but it will not. It's very sad because this is an awesome and a really awesome controller. All the controls work with San Andreas on my cheap $100 KitKat phone. Um, okay. Um, the 4K quality video is awesome. This is only 1080, and it's also very good. See, look at the detail in my blanket. That's that's crazy. This is only 1080. This ain't even 4K. Okay, second, um, the processors are crazy powerful. I can run any game completely maxed out, including San Andreas with the touch controls. Um, all the other games with the touch controls. Um, it's very powerful phone. The speaker, the speakers are ear piercing loud. They even have like a surround sound effect, which makes it sound like this surround, like sound all around you. It's really strange. It's really cool. I like it. The cameras are awesome. The front cameras are awesome, except for Facebook sending videos. The video chat works good, but sending videos or sending, yeah, sending videos is kind of weird with the messenger. It makes it look almost cartoony, which is strange. It's the only one that does it with this Facebook. Strange enough. Um. You can view videos in 2K or whatever it is, 1440. I think that's 2K, but I'm not sure. You can view videos in 1440p through YouTube with your phone. It kind of lags sometimes, but my internet ain't the best. I got cheap internet. Let's see, cheap internet. Anyways, um, okay. Um, what else? The screen is awesome. Six inch 2K screen. Very, very high end quality. Um, and then there's one more problem under, other, other than the controller. There's another problem. The operating system, I cannot put a different launcher on. Blue has literally made this phone locked into their launcher. So if you have Next Launcher for $17, the all awesome holographic 3D one with everything animated like Ubuntu. You can't use that on this phone. I don't know why, but you, you, well, you can use it, but you have to keep clicking into it. You won't be able to set it as your primary launcher or primary user interface. But the launcher on this thing is pretty cool. It is 3D, which is strange and cool. I've never knew that Blue did that. Um, okay, and then um, the Bluetooth works really good like this controller will control the app the moga app that it comes with but that's what well, once you click into a game it will not control it i don't know why i'm guessing it's something to do with a lollipop because i've seen other lollipop phones had the same problem with moga moga's made for kitkat um, but anyways 4k videos even though you can't upload them to youtube it takes hours to upload even just a short five minute video the first video i was doing 4k and it was very long it took three hours for five minutes and it literally was just like oh my god this is taking forever and then by the time it was done uploading it went to processing and it wouldn't even do and processing because it said file format not supported which is weird but it does do 4k when you do 4k okay and you take a screenshot and then you zoom into whatever you're doing like me doing wheelies with my snowmobile come out freaking incredible i could zoom right in and everything was just incredible detail so this phone does do some pretty interesting stuff. This is definitely worth $350 over Samsung. Samsung, it is a little faster in some of the online stuff, uh, but not by much. And it freezes a lot. And Samsung's always had a lot of problems. Seems how they're a completely independent company from Korea. But Blue is definitely taking a huge step up with this phone. They are making incredible phones. And this 2016 phones are going to be even better. So... Um, Yep, definitely support Blue or Motorola. I like Motorola because they have the dual front-facing speakers and um, the Snapdragon 820 processor, which is an octa-core like this one. The 3 gigs of RAM is extremely fast with this. 
very fast. I think it's like 800 megahertz RAM or 1200, 1333 megahertz RAM. Very fast, fast RAM. Um, yeah, everything works on this phone pretty well. Pretty well other than the two problems. Hopefully you enjoy this video. And hopefully this helps you in purchasing your phone. Oh, the battery, the battery. The, the charger that comes with this phone is awesome. Even though I spent a lot of money on this charger, this is like $50. And this last year, this right here was the best charger. Here, let me focus on it. There we go. See? 5 volts at 2.1 amps. It lights up red, but it did not. It does not work good anymore. Now it's this charger. This charges 2 amps also. And it's also nine, uh, 5 volt and 9 volt at 2 amps, which is really weird this thing charges this phone ridiculously fast like beyond like an hour an hour and this thing's pretty much fully charged and then i hooked up the cable that come with this one and it got hot right at the very tip like this right here got freaking hot in like one minute so you have to use this cable and this charger okay and the battery lasts a long time it lasts like all day